Alright, welcome back. Grumpy Goblin here. Still trying to figure out how to power up that other Tesla coil over there so that I can turn on the elevator. This looks promising. Jump puzzle here if I can get up. Ah. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. All right, there's a. Uh, ooh, there's a couple things up here to examine. What do we got here? The mobile robotic arm is finally working. We discovered that traditional batteries were rendered inoperable within proximity of the structures, and a junior technician suggested we use the green fire itself as a power source. The arm actually draws power from the structures. I'm guessing. This is the power arm. The arm. Okay. Mobile, mobile robotic arm system acquired. Alright, so I've acquired it. Yay. Нам очень повезло, что по прибытию на эту планету здесь уже существовало все наши потребности в электроэнергии. Невзирая на странность их внешнего вида и строения, которые мы быстро утвердили как нашу собственность. Right, Однако любопытно, let's... что системы управления для запуска этих устройств кажутся предназначенными для очень высоких существ. Гораздо более возможность приводить в действие нужные устройства. Right, и все this. же причина такой высоты этих систем управления остается загадкой. Были ли другие гости на этой планете еще до нас? Или, может, здесь существуют и другие формы жизни, помимо сугубо растительной? Oh, I bet you that's how we move the rock to the little energy chamber thing. That would make sense, because why would you want to touch, like, some nuclear radioactive rock? Oh. Hey, when I saved my game, that was at the bottom already. Now I gotta wait for it to come all the way down. For the elevator, loving an elevator. Loving an alien elevator. Ah. All right, now let's head back up. The, mo the mobile arm looks like I've attached it to the side of my spacesuit here. Luckily, it was 100% compatible. Convenient, 100% compatible. All right, let's run over here. Run right over here. Eee. All right, there's the rock. I'm gonna bet that's how we put it in. All right. Oh, there we go. It tells you when to use it. <laughs> okay, oh, there's different controls for it. is lit up green over here, meaning that we have power! Here comes the second elevator. Alright, so I could see how that that, uh, that little arm could be convenient. I think it's even more convenient, like I said, that it just interfaced perfectly <laughs> with 
uh, my space suit. Hey, maybe the Russians stole it from us to begin with. Remember, if you're enjoying this series as much as I am, and I'm loving it because this game is pretty fun, if you're enjoying this series, make sure you hit that like button. It just, uh, it's just the easiest way to give me feedback. Oh, I must mess that one up. It's the quickest way to give me feedback to let me know that you're enjoying it. Uh, if you leave a comment, that's great too, but the uh, easiest way is to just hit that like button. Oh, fun. Okay, so the number four wall is currently preventing our passage. Ah, how convenient. Hey, look, uh, you know, that's just funny. Hey, look, we can't get through here without TNT, so let's make sure we put some TNT hidden behind this rock over here. Skadoosh! Get us through? Of course it did. It's scripted. Okay, here we are. I don't know, th this whole game, I just, I'm expecting some ravenous alien monster to pop out at any second and just do me in. Yeah, this is fun. Oh! Oh, of course. There's something odd about that storm. Mm. That's it? That's all you gotta say? Okay, there's something odd about that storm over there. I didn't see it until he mentioned it, so I guess that's a plot progression. What is powering this thing? The, I don't... The cable itself looks stationary, but the... I don't know. <laughs> don't question the science. What is that? Oh... that a stargate? No, of course not. Whoa. Oh boy. Can I reach that? screen. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Whoa. Wasteland. Wasteland. We got more foot fence on the ground. We've got the green mossy stuff. Got that little patch. Of oh, shoot. Oh. What in the world? Hey, get away from him. Oh, man. I think I found my other crew member. Go 
Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. Seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid their traps somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage, following in her tracks as best as possible. Great. See, I knew it. Some crazy alien monster just ready to just shoot up from the ground and eat me at any second. Oh, twitching. Twitching plants. Is this her path? I'm assuming it said to follow her path. This is the only path I see, so I'm going to follow it. Need to go up on these rocks. Oh. Eee. Located a vast field of culminar basalt. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrences I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to assault columns on my home home planet via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools and the new rocket contracts and it cracks, once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock, which I have to jump one to another, I would assume. Yes, of course. I'm just going down, though. The tracks were my guide. A, biological reaction with the soil. a delicate female footprint offering me subtle comfort as I press on into the unknown. Strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. In the right light, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests there is something organic reacting to the person or the thing, whichever she is, making the tracks. The faded glow is haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I'm trying not to worry about the idea that with every step, my body has been irradiated beyond repair. Yeah, that happens. This is with the bright light. See where they pick up again. All right, into the rocky areas. Oh. oh. taken a sample from one of the root species. My field observation tools are not as much used, but from what I can tell, the creatures are carbon-based life form. However, their cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. Well, that's good information. Science! Not that any of these jumps are specifically hard. They're just nerve-wracking, because if you miss one, you know you'll probably end up dead. Uh, did she go that way or that way? Oh, crap. Did she go that way? Yeah, there's green over that way. One of those big things. That doesn't look good. She went that way, there's green over there. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I almost got tricked. Almost got tricked. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> How far is that going to take me back? Okay, not far. Oh, good. Not far. That's one thing I like about this game. If you die, you don't go too far back. Just kind of overjumped that. There we go. So had this been real life, that would have been the end of my journey. So much for the alien planet. And science. All that fun stuff. This way, yeah, there's the green. This is still strangely nerve wracking. And you got no enemy really following you, but you just feel like you're being stalked or watched or something on this lifeless planet. Which we, I guess, I guess the title of the game is pretty inaccurate, huh? Is this where I just came from? Oh, it is. I just backtracked. Okay, I missed a turn or something. Let's go back. Some of you are probably shouting at the screen when I did that. Sorry. So I came through here. I thought she went back that way, but she went up. Green. Oh, just made it. She kind of did us. Oh crap! That's one of those those sandstorms that sucked my buddy into the ground. All right. Running as fast as this game will allow me. Staying on the path. Okay, that was a little, a little nerve-wracking. And I see a glint. And badlands. Badlands. These evil badlands. We are low on oxygen. I'm guessing the glint is an oxygen refill Good station. Oxygen. Kind of convenient. Very convenient, in fact. Yes, very good thing that this was randomly dropped right here. <laughs> All right. Looking around, what do I see? I see. Oh man, no, no, like obvious way to go. Maybe down through that valley. Let's head that. Oops. Let's head that way. Yeah, I believe the music agrees with my choice of direction. Yeah. And up that little hill there. Does not look like a natural formation. Whoa. Okay. Hey, there's the green green footsteps again. And there's a glint on the ground, which means update. Picked up right. her tracks again. It's time for some answers. Yeah, time for some answers. Dang it. I still don't know how. If I can trust her, her trail appears to lead me away from dangers, but maybe that's just because she's looking out for herself. One thing is certain, she doesn't want me following her, and that's exactly why I have to follow. Yeah, that's... 
No does not mean yes. I thought we've learned that as a society by now. There she is. I just want to ask you out. Please wait up. Can you? Oh. oh. All right. Well, I'm going to call this an episode because, because I don't speak Russian and I I don't want to I want to continue without knowing exactly what what's that in the distance. Oh my gosh, there's just so much in this game. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.